7.27. And let's see if he can convert this into an excellent score and take the lead from Kayo. Just over seven minutes remaining, driving off the bottom. A couple of nice, quick calves, and he gets to that backhand snap on the inside and lets go of a gem. Ditching those fins, a lot of power, executed with a lot of speed that last turn. I have a feel that, feeling that's going to be an excellent score. The second Taj stood up on that wave, the potential was for an excellent number. It was a beautiful wave, really steep, had that nice wall, and of course the pace. At first it looked a little sketchy like he was nervous. Just slightly behind, so right here, just a setup turn. This one a little bit tender, just a cutback, and now this is on the money. Bang. So all his points are more or less going to come from that third turn. The judges will eat that up. Uh, and in my eyes, this is much better than his 7.27. That's why I'm thinking it should break that excellent range running. Just set up that inside section perfectly. Didn't overdo it on the outside, just really wanted to get a lot of speed so he could arrive at the lip at the perfect moment to send up a huge amount of spray. That way was tough too because it was so obviously good. The second he stood up, he said, I just got to make sure I don't farm this thing. I got to take care of it. Uh, and you can, as a result of that, feel nervous. You start sur surfing tentative. But he really uh, hooked up with his courage on that third turn. Well, this is exciting because we mentioned that Taj, once he starts to feel his groove in a heat, he generally builds. He's had two waves now. They've both been really solid. Two decent scoring waves. And he might just really unload now and start to attack everything that comes his way. 